Welcome to MDNews.com. This is Charlie Milburn. We're coming to you from location at the Society for Healthcare Strategy and Market Development 2010 Annual Conference in Chicago. We spoke with some of the leading healthcare marketing minds on a number of topics, from physicians and social media, physician relations, to a number of things. Take a look at what they had to say. That's a great question. Social media is definitely something that has taken off in the world of marketing. Uh, it's almost something that's a necessity. You kind of have to be involved in the conversation. Uh, there's Facebook, there's Twitter, there's Yelp, there's YouTube. Uh, there's so many uh, avenues that are out there. You have to be involved. And one thing we do is uh, talk to our physicians about the new and emerging media that's out there, uh, get their perspectives and how we can integrate them into the conversation. Uh, we really feel that uh, we want to be on the forefront of everything we do, whether it's medicine, technology, uh, or marketing, so that we can reach as many patients as possible and help improve their lives. We use social media for our patients and for our community um, via Facebook, Twitter, and our online blog, especially for our Women's Health Center. So we. Um, update our latest events, latest health education programs, and we use it for to answer your questions. Well, we actually have a group of physicians in our primary care market uh, that have approached us about doing a walking program, which we've titled Physicians on Foot, and they were very interested in, in having a social media aspect where we are able to invite the patients of our system as well as the community uh, to come out and walk. We've done YouTube videos that we've posted online. Uh, with our physicians. Uh, we put information about when it's going to happen, where it's going to happen, cancellations, and any type of events like that so that we can keep our uh, fans of our Facebook and fans of our organization involved. Uh, well, the, the success is that um, really we, for the Physicians on Foot campaign that we started, we didn't have a, a budget really to speak of for it, so we heavily relied on it. And in the first uh, few weeks, we've had over 30 participants from the community. Uh, a lot of them have, have seen the, the information on Facebook or on YouTube and have come out to improve their health. Uh, I think any time that you can get a message out there where someone improves their health, it's a success. Uh, we also had a campaign where we talked about the five symptoms of stroke and heart attack and patients were able to see those symptoms. We actually had somebody that had seen our information out there, uh, had a friend that was having a heart attack, knew what to do, knew the signs and symptoms, and was eventually able to save his friend's life by getting him the emergency care he needed, all because of the messages that we had out there. Uh, we have physicians that, that come to our Facebook and Twitter uh, pages and we're doing a, a really good job of educating physicians on the avenues that are available. Uh, we actually have a physician that's a chair of our pediatrics that started an online blog uh, to communicate to both patients and physicians. Uh, so they're, they're definitely uh, looking for new and innov innovative ways to reach their, their patient base as well as their uh, peers. And I think, you know, when you combine those two and, and, and get the avenues together for them, it, it makes a great success. Um, we have a lot of patients starting to contact them via Facebook and Twitter. And we're starting to launch, a I guess, more campaigns um, to help them learn better of how to respond to the needs and uh, take back feedback that their patients, good or bad, have experienced through our hospital and healthcare system. So now that you've heard what they have to say, we want to know what you think. Click on the Share Your Perspectives link on mdnews.com and give us your opinion. Reporting from Shushmed in Chicago, this is Charlie Milburn for mdnews.com.